so here i'm finally heading to my father's village the initial village that you would have seen the video that i was in is the is the my sister's uh, husband's state so now i'm going to the next state which is my state my father's state my mother's state i'm going to my father's village so that is where i'm heading today that said i want to also add that i see people are expecting me some people are expecting me to go to my village in a private jet or in a limousine or whatever one i am in some locations that you can't just get an uber you can't get a boat you just have to come out to the road and to the main road if that makes sense and find any available vehicle that is going by taxis that are going back that have no passengers to say okay just pick only us and that sometimes can be hard to get most of the time when you come out you just see a bus that people are already in it uh where you just join them okay so that is what is going on here but at the same time i personally believe in blending in as much as possible here we're getting off the the public bus and then we're going to basically what we call charter charter a taxi. So now we're at a location where it's easy to find a taxi that is empty and then it's actually a, a, a vehicle that is empty, taxis or transporters that are empty and you can then pick one. It's easier now, this location that where we are. Um, here we're collecting the flicker that I got from my uncle for his children. I brought it from abroad. It was actually cargoed before I got to Nigeria. So, uh, my sister was supposed to send it to him, but he never got the chance to get it. So finally, since he's here, he's picking it up to take uh, home um, with us. Yeah. So my car is even in the daytime, like it's only a guy, a guy, a driver with him. My block where I saw ya, everybody, all passengers, even on a motor, that one, one thousand. I said, everybody, one, one thousand. You see, my way, that one thousand, I'll go to it. Drive out for all that. Huh? They're going to hang out today. No, you can't want to go. And um, something else I observed as we got deeper and deeper, you know, um, into uh, what's it called now, the remote area, is that we started off with places where we're seeing police checkpoints. And whenever we see my my sister always tell me, put your camera down, don't film. That's why I didn't film a lot. You know, I was always hiding my camera and just being careful. But um, it was interesting how we were all seeing police checkpoint, police checkpoint. But we actually got to a point where there were no longer police checkpoints. They were just the community boys checkpoint. That's the best way I can put it. Community boys checkpoints. There are some areas like my area where there are no police stations anymore. The police have basically lost their power and uh, only the local community boys are in charge of everything because they burnt down police stations you know so much has happened they basically kicked the police out of the of the communities right so i i wanted to emphasize that i i noticed that as well also let me add actually that my mother does not know i'm coming my sister rang her and told her she was coming and told my mother what meal to prepare so my mother was kind of expecting my sister she wasn't expecting me
Like at this very point where you can't see any of the, you can't see anything in this video, we actually came across the local, uh, the community boys checkpoint and we were freaking out because this driver had got to a point in which he said he doesn't want to go any further. We actually had to basically lure him with money to take us further. And when this happened, my sister was like, oh my goodness, this man really didn't want to come. What have we done? You know, we shouldn't have kind of uh, tried to get him to come this far. She, we, we, we were panicking because at this point, he had to come out of the car and all of that we don't know what questions they were asking him but you know detention was really like so at this point like i was saying my sister was like this man's spirit was telling him not to come look at what we've done we shouldn't have made him come you know we thank god that you know he was able to sort them out and we were able to continue our journey so before you come and be writing comments and saying any nonsense you want to say remember that your side and my side are not the same Okay. Okay. This is the land of my ancestors. This is the land of my ancestors. This is the land of the Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 